We are now in March 2021. What will be 2022? Will we be anywhere near as successful as I've been in this series so far? No, but it could all fall down from here. It could go wrong. It really could, but I'm hoping not. We've got March, April and May. Um, in fact, let me hide my camera a second so you guys... That's the wrong button. There you go. You can see we've got uh, we've got Nice in the Europa League. That is the next knockout stage. We've got Aston Villa splitting those two games. We then got Leeds, Liverpool, Crystal Palace, Burnley, Tottenham, Liverpool, Southampton. So Liverpool twice in the matter of weeks. And then we go into the final month. Manchester United, Chelsea, Norwich, Watford and Brentford. Not too bad, you know. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it's obviously not an easy run-in with games against Liverpool, but do you know what? It could have been a lot worse. Um, we still have that Chelsea game. There could be a couple of upsets there, but this is the squad right now. Of course, we finished the transfer window, and I brought in two players that actually do get into the first team. Bissouma comes in for Granit Xhaka. Uh, I've converted him to a ball-winning midfielder defence tactical role instead of going with a deep-lying playmaker. For me, Bissouma is not necessarily a creative playmaker. He can do the job, but he's he's definitely much more of a defensive player than Granit Xhaka, and he does a better job shielding the defence. So I definitely wanted him to be a bit more of a defensive option for us, with Partey giving a little bit more creative freedom to roam forward and act as the box-to-box -box midfielder that he is. Trippier, what a signing he's proved to be already. Uh, he was injured for the first two or three games. As soon as he came in, brilliant, superb. He's the new number two at the moment, an ex-Tottenham player. Oh, it does make me feel a little bit queasy, but I'm happy with that signing. Um, but it does mean, of course, that Tommy Yasu, who unfortunately uh, is injured at the moment anyway, he's out for a couple more days. He has been taken off out of the first team, onto the bench. The bench is strong, though. Tommy Yasu, centre-back, right-back. Tavares, left-back, left-mid you could get away with. Maitland-Niles, right-back, left-back, central midfielder. Lukonga, DM, central midfielder. Pepe, either wing, could get away with playing him at striker. And Lacazette as well. It's a very versatile team full of options, and I'm super happy with it. So what we're going to do now is decide which games we're going to play. So Nice, Aston Villa and Leeds. I think we'll get four results there. And then we will go to Anfield and try and get all three points. If we can beat Anfield, I reckon, although there's still quite a few games to go, but I, I reckon that might be the turning point, whether we're almost guaranteeing a top four finish or that could be then the downfall. Imagine if we lost against Tottenham after that, and then Liverpool and then United, Chelsea. It, it, it honestly could go wrong. But uh, there are a few games in this period here, at least, where we should be getting three points every time. I don't understand how it's possible that Leeds are in 18th place. It's a good thing, though, I guess, right now, because we should be able to beat them before we go into that Liverpool game. We've just completed the Europa League games. Hopefully we've beaten Nice, hopefully twice. I don't want to have a similar situation to Hoffenheim, wasn't it? Where we actually lost the first leg and had to beat them in a much more pressurised situation in the second leg. Which we were able to do though. We were absolutely fine. So we're going to find out our results in just a second. Again, I should mention, don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. It's not a good idea at all. We have... Ooh. Okay. I mean, interesting... So we did lose the first leg against Nice away from home. We got two away goals. We went into the Aston Villa game and got beaten 2-0. Oh dear. But then, oh my God. Um, somehow we scored seven at the Emirates against Nice. Wow. That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, and then we beat Leeds 3-1. So where does that leave us in the Premier League? Let's have a look. Third place, one point above Liverpool. This is huge. Oh my God, this is such a big game. If I can beat Liverpool, like I said, I reckon top four will be fine. It'll keep us going. You know, we're, we're, we're hitting some kind of bumpy form. So to get another win here against a big team should help us continue in the right direction. I just, I've just got a feeling that if we lose... It could get a little bit messy, but uh, let's hope 
we can do well. Now, although the window shut, I did do something um, when I was not recording, because obviously I'm streaming all of this live, so make sure you check it out. But I decided to take a look at, um, let me go to player search. I'll show you what I searched here. So I went with a minimum fee release clause of at least, or at most in this case, 20 million, just to see what kind of bargains are out there with a 20 million release clause. I searched it up and I found an absolute monster of a player. Jeremy Pino. Is that how you say it? Pino? 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 I don't know. This guy is a wonder kid. And it's it's crazy. If I go into his contract, his release clause is 13 million. So I thought just out of interest, you know, and for the series sake, you know, just, just why not? Even though I'm probably not going to be doing a season two, I'm going to try and sign him and just see what that would look like. I can't remember making... Uh, a signing in FM21 with a release clause. I don't think I've done it. I've done it in previous games. Let's just go for it. So we're going to make an offer here and we will pay that release clause. So it should stop me. There'll be a little green. Yep, yeah, there it is. The green um, warning sign. Just pay the release clause. Make the offer. We have got the money to do this. And the reason I'm doing it really is because he's 18 years old. He is part of the objective that we were set out from the start to sign under 18 players, 18 or under, that have a great future. That's literally that. So it should help me not get fired if ultimately I do start to <laughs> go flying down the table. And of course, because it's a release clause, it has been accepted. We will start negotiations here. He wants to be a regular starter. Ooh, that's tough, man. I see him basically fighting for that left wing position with Martinelli in the future. Uh, I feel like his potential's wrong. He, he's honestly, he's going to be a very good player. I'm going to try and get him on squad player. Um, play time in 22-23. Yeah, okay. All right, suggest promise. Ooh, he wants to be a regular starter. Of course, he won't join until next season. But let's finalise that promise. Worst case, he gets a little bit upset at the time and whatever, you deal with it. But of course, it's not really going to affect me because I'm probably not going to be playing next season. So let's go and do this as if he was going to be someone that I will actually have to use. Trying to bring down all these fees just a little bit. We want to take out the yearly wage rise and exclude it from negotiation. I'm going to try a cheeky little offer here of 45 I think 2 million up front is is pretty good. Oh my god, he wants much higher wages. I mean, it's not an issue. We can afford it. Uh, let's try 50 plus 2 million. Nice. Let's finalise the deal. If he accepts that, that is three signings. And they're all brilliant signings. I'm really happy with Trippier, although he's a bit older. Of course, Bissouma and Partey. What a midfield that is. And then Pino, I think that is his name. We'll call him Jeremy. Much easier. Um, future star. He could be really good. Apparently, Rekic. Rekic. Rechic. I don't know. He hasn't get, he, he's not getting enough time. It, it's been brought to my attention that he is not being given his playtime at Mets. He's playing often enough. He needs to play more. Whoa! Really? Okay, Frederic. Frederic. He's bolder than me. Is that even possible? <laughs> okay, well, it's cool that this has been brought to my attention. I guess I would just call him back, but I'm not going to. It's fine. He, he is probably playing enough. It's okay. Um, we haven't had anything back on the new signing. I'm guessing we won't before the Liverpool game. So I guess we just go ahead and play this right now and hopefully pick up a win. We do have... Tottenham playing against Newcastle, West Ham are playing as well. How are West Ham in 12th with that squad? And Leicester in 9th. Leicester was almost the team I did for this. It was between Leicester and Arsenal. Um, I went for Arsenal because I thought I'm probably not doing the Arsenal career mode with FIFA 22 until a bit later because I'm doing Create a Club. I thought I'll give you guys my Arsenal fix now. Um, the Arsenal career mode will come, don't worry. So I almost did Leicester, but I no, I've gone with Arsenal. I'm glad I did. This is this is fun. Uh, let's go into the team selection here. 
Looks like Nketi has been given the go-ahead because we do need to rest Aubameyang. So he will get that rest today. Same with Erdegaard. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this team. I think that's good enough. Submit. Well, I say good enough. It's Liverpool. No Arsenal team is really good enough to compete with Liverpool, if we're being honest. Tierney is captain. Love to see that. Saka, Pepe, Xhaka, Bissouma. Interesting how Partey was recommended to be dropped. But I've gone with it. Uh, we've got nothing to lose here, really. Uh, I know we're the underdogs here. Let's go with that one. Because we are. Let's be honest. We are the underdogs. Let's see what happens, though. I've got a feeling that this will be similar to the game we had against City recently, where actually, for once, we were dominated stats-wise, and they just went on to win the game. And you just have to say fair play. You know, that, that could happen today against Liverpool. We haven't had a single shot after 25 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and demand more here. As Liverpool come forward, here's Mane. Oh, dear. Terrible shot. By the way, Aubameyang is top scorer in the league, and Salah is just behind him. So there's no Aubameyang today. This is a big chance for Salah to overtake. Oh, hello. Oh, Nketiah. Seventh goal of the season. It is 1-0. Our first shot on target. That's hilarious. And Ketia, man, I honestly, maybe he's just way better in FM than he is in real life. That must be it. I don't know how he's getting so much game time this season. I almost loaned him out. Oh my god. Really? We're conceding a header again. Frustrating. Do not give Thiago space on the edge of the box. He's going to play it in. Look at that. What a cross. And Mane. Wow. Okay. Uh, five minutes before the break. It's not ideal timing to concede. But do you know what? We are performing at a decent level. We're doing better than we did, say, against City. Uh, you can probably barely see that. It's quite difficult to see. But we are doing better... Uh, expected goals wise but of course it really doesn't matter stats like you, you can look into stats as much as you like but you've just got to win the game <laughs> i'm happy with your performance there you go you've just got to score goals you can't you can show me any stat you want realistically the only one that actually matters is just goal scored so yeah i know people obsess over stats these days but realistically it means nothing I know you can make signings based off stats and stuff like that, but what happened to the good old days of just signing a player because you saw them perform well? It's not just about, oh, this this year he got this many appearances, whatever. Let's go and get Lekonga in. I'm going to swap, swap them around here. We're going to go with a deep-lying playmaker role, and Xhaka is going to play, oh, box-to-box? -box? No. I think Partey comes in now. Change up that midfield. Do I go Smith Rowe? Swap him out, maybe? Do we go with Martinelli? So Tierney's tired, and so is Smith Rowe. It's a bit tricky, this. Um, do you know what? I'm going to leave it as it is. We'll confirm the changes here, and I'm going to go ahead and praise the team because, you know, we're doing all right. It worked. They reacted well. Come on, then. Let's ignore that advice. Yes. Here we go. A highlight. Come on. Smith Rowe. Oh, no. Oh, it's bad. Oh, what a tackle. That was Lekonga. Instant impact after coming on. They probably would have scored. And they've put a header over the bar there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, build it up again. Oh, no. Yes, we're fine. Jeez, it's such a mess right now. Oh, yes! And Ketia gets a double. That could be it, guys. Top four, I'm telling you. If we hold on to this, top four. Great tackle from Maitland-Niles there. Smithrow plays it through for Nketiah, who lays it off for Saka. What is Fabinho doing? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so my mentality is on balanced right now. Let's go ahead and change that to cautious. And, oh, they want me to put Martinelli on. Go on then, just do it. Martinelli is playing at Cam. It didn't matter. We have beaten Liverpool. What a result. We had a really, really decent performance there. More possession at Anfield than Liverpool. Mate, that is amazing. What a win. A very nice victory. Well done. Or do I go, that was really special? Nobody gave us a chance. Like, come on, of course some people did. Very nice victory. Well done. Yeah, this just makes me feel sick. Xhaka is a legend.
Mm. <laughs> I'm not doing that. How can you call Xhaka a legend? No, 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 no. We don't we don't say those words around Xhaka. Uh, Crystal Palace. Oh my God, we got Dortmund in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. I think we will we'll get an instant result for the home leg and then we're going to play Tottenham and Borussia Dortmund proper. So let's sim our way to the Tottenham game now. Let's see what result we get at home against Dortmund. That is a tough, tough draw. I've just seen in the bottom right corner here, Bayern have pretty much won the league already. Leipzig in second, Borussia Mönchengladbach in third. And Dortmund are in fourth. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, they're having some tough games at the moment. They're in some bad form and we can beat them. But uh, I have checked their team. They do still have Haaland. They've got Haaland and Royce. They're going to be insane going forward. Bellingham's in there as well. I would love Bellingham, my God. So it's going to be a tough one. It really is going to be a hard game. We've almost completed the games before. We've got Burnley coming up now away. That's a game we've got in real life in a couple of weeks now. Norwich, Burnley, Tottenham, isn't it? Three games that Arteta must win, in my opinion. I wonder if we'll be able to beat Burnley here. I think we'll get a 2-0 win away from home. Oh, God, 121 emails. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Let's see what results we got. Oh, my God. Wow. 2-0. 2-0. Again, so two 2 nils in a row. I, I guess the 2 nil win against Burnley. Nice. Actually, we should have had three. We missed a penalty. But then, at home, we managed to beat Dortmund. And it was a goal from Granit Xhaka. And Hummels got sent off. Oh, my. Wait, we scored in the 94th minute. They had a red card in the 96th minute. I, I wonder if it was a dodgy goal. And Mats Hummels ran up to the referee and just, like, clotheslined him. <laughs> and got sent off. That's a massive result. No away goals for Dortmund. But of course, our focus now turns to Tottenham at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, whatever they've called it. Are they going to get an actual name for that soon? Are they going to use a brand like we did with the Emirates? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, we should probably go through our emails. Just just have a little look. Make the Nile showing uh, pleasing progress. Pino. Oh, yeah, we got him. Pino, done. Almost forgot about that. We got Pino. Hey, he is going to be some player for us. And there it is, joining Arsenal for next season. Um, fitness concern for Aubameyang. Callum Chambers injured for a day or two. I mean, yeah, I think we're okay. Thankfully, the game has accepted that Pino deal. Again, it just goes to show, do not do what I'm doing and just go on holiday. It is not a good idea. Let's go ahead and get into this Tottenham game. I am feeling good going into this, actually, considering we just beat... Wait, what? What was that? Balogun? It said he was American. Uh... Okay. Fair enough, mate. If that's... Sorry, I was just a bit blown away by that. Um, He's English, by the way, so clearly he's got something in his family history maybe he can play for the us maybe i've missed that um we're currently six points clear of liverpool in fourth so that is great news we're also just three points behind city with a game to play it's looking very good for man united at the moment but tottenham our next game 46 points from 30 games they're in ninth place wow look at brentford go that's amazing well, like I said, we've just beaten Dortmund. We should be able to beat Tottenham. Without Rob Holding, not a problem. Um, <laughs> I, I think that means latest, right? Yeah, latest score. It just looks like Leicester got an L, <laughs> even though they're winning 2-0. Let's jump into this tactical meeting. So they want me to make quite a few changes, which means Aubameyang playing on the left, Saka on the right. I mean, to be fair, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go ahead and check out the team so Smithrow is a little bit tired but so is Erdegaard but if they're both tired I think I'd rather get Erdegaard in that position to be honest Lukonga and Basuma swap I feel like that would work a little bit better and then get 
get him playing the uh, defensive playmaker. Okay. Inside forward Aubameyang, inside forward Saka, and Ketia. I mean, the kid's going really far at the moment. He's he's honestly getting a lot of game time, and clearly it's for a good reason. Let's submit the team, and let's get a win against the scum. Tottenham, nah, don't care. I don't care what team you've got. Harry Kane, whatever. We're going to win this. Let's go give the fans their money's worth. I think that's a good shout. You know, perform for the fans. Do it for the fans. What is going on right now? We are 42 minutes in. There's not been a single highlight. Half time. Nothing. We've been bad. But, I mean, Tottenham, yeah, they've had more shots. But look at that expected goals. That means those chances were pretty rubbish. Okay. Um, this is a tough one. I don't know what to say to my players. Uh, I'm not happy. Okay, it kind of worked there. So we're going to start the second half, and I'm straight away going to demand more. Oh, it's worked. Okay, Erdegaard for Smith Row. I think we'll do that in a moment. He might get an assist here. Saka, Erdegaard, Trippier, Bissouma, Aubameyang, Lekonga, Erdegaard into Saka. Oh, after all that. Nothing happens. Oh, no. No. Oh, it's Deli Alley. No, 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 no. We don't need to see that. Erdegaard's going to come off. Smithrow will come on. Let's confirm. And I'm going to go. Oh, please. I don't want to watch a Tottenham goal. Get rid of that. I'm going to go on attacking. I know you guys can't see that because it's behind my camera. I've gone for the attacking mentality. We've still only had one shot on target. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, no. There's a VAR check going on here. This could be bad. This could be a penalty for Tottenham. If it's a penalty, they're probably going to win this game. Please don't give it. Please don't give it. Oh, this is bad. Game over if he scores. Oh, we're losing the North London derby. I'm not watching it again. Oh, this is bad. Aubameyang has a 5.9 rating. Come on then, Martinelli. It's all you, bro. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> Could have been three. Who the hell are they bringing on? Mark Mark, Mark, and Ande. Mark, Mark, Mark and I don't know who that is. I have no idea who that is. We've still only had one shot. What has happened here? Oh, please, get one back. Please get one back. We're going backwards. Oh, here we go. Come on! Okay, 78 minutes to go. 78 minutes to go? I mean, 78 minutes played. What we're going to do, okay, is, again, I'm going to go on very attacking now. We are just, we're going for it. I've got nothing to lose at this point. I'm also going to make a defense, uh, a defensive midfielder change to a more of an attacking midfielder. So Partey is going to come in. And I'm going to get him as a advanced playmaker attack. And I'm going to go attacking midfielder attack. Okay, that's that's what we're going to do. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a shout as soon as I can. Press play. Shout. Demand more. Boom. Not the reaction I was looking for. But guys, we could rescue a point here. Wait, what? What? Oh um, my god. Stress levels are high. That wasn't in the box. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the box. We're not going to get it. There's no way that's a pen. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's a free kick, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Still 10 minutes to go. Did he just shoot from there? I think he just shot from there. <laughs> okay. We still have a few minutes to go. We're we're blasting through them, though. Look at the, the clock. Please give me a highlight now. Ah, oh, it's over. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. On to Tot uh, not to Tottenham. On to Dortmund, okay? Who cares? Tottenham, pff, whatever. That's the team they're going to be using by the looks of it. No Haaland. Interesting. So, Royce up top with Marlon. Reyna in behind. Bellingham, Emery Chan and Witzel. I mean, look at the defence. It's really not that good. Actually... I'm feeling good. We might have lost against Tottenham. I can take that. We will go through against Dortmund here. Here's the opposition report. Oh, you're, kid you're kidding me.
Oh my. It's just not fair. It is not fair. All these injuries I'm getting. Well, Chelsea drew to Wolves there. So that's points dropped for one of the teams that could catch up with us. Sancho is tipped to win, win the English players. Young player of the year. Okay. Ilyev's injured. Don't care. Let's just get to this Dortmund game. This this is one thing I don't really like about FM. It, it, it's just, I, I just want to play the game. I just want to play the game. <laughs> There's always something popping up, but I know a lot of people love that. I'm just so used to Karimo being just play and then you go and then uh, you're just done. You get in the game, you know. I, I guess it's definitely down to me. All right, here we go. Some of the other teams left. Besiktas are through for sure. Uh, Leicester are through. Looks like Milan and Napoli are going to be battling it out. Okay, let's do those. Let's see what that team would look like. So Lacazette and Ketia. No. No. Martinelli. Like, come on, game. Don't be stupid. Don't be silly. It's just no need. All right, here we go. Dortmund. I am hoping we can get at least two away goals in this game. And I think we'll be fine. We're not the underdogs. Uh, I'm expecting you to win tonight. No reaction, really. Cool. I'm just going to go ahead and demand more straight away. <laughs> Literally, they just walked on the pitch. I want more from you guys. I want more. Well, of course. Of, of, of course. Injury. Martinelli. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> Aubameyang in. And to be fair, the stats don't look great, guys. 11 shots from Dortmund already. And that is without Haaland. Who is on the bench? Oh, they almost scored. What just happened? Wait, 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 wait. What? Are my eyes deceiving me? Oh, please score. Then I don't have to think about what I just witnessed. Please. Yes. Oh, my God. Did you guys see what I just saw? He missed an open goal, right? That's not... That, that did happen. That's not just me. Thank God we've gone on the next attack and scored. Saka with the away goal. I think that's enough now. I think we'll go on to win. That's half time. Look at the domination. Oh my. Wow. That is crazy. I'm pleased with your performance. By the way, I think Haaland is actually on the bench. I thought he wasn't involved at all, but he is on the bench. So they can bring him on. I hope they don't. Um, next player I'm going to take off is probably Basuma. With that yellow card. Uh, we'll go with Granite Xhaka. No, we'll go with Lakonga. 100% Lakonga. Work the ball into the box. I like the idea of that. We have been under a lot of pressure. Look at this. 21 shots. And Marlon, of course, ex-Arsenal. It's probably a, a key role in all of those attacks. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. Okay, even I want to watch that again. It's a big goal for Dortmund. They need to score two more after this, though. They have to score three. I don't think they're going to do that. Emre Chan, though. Whoa. He can score a banger, can't he? An absolute banger. He's playing at left wing back. What? It's a little bit of an interesting one. And what is that from Smith Rowe? I don't know. If they score from this. Oh, okay. We're okay, guys. Don't panic. Just a few minutes to go. I think we're good. Yep, yeah, we've done it. Come on. Okay, now, who do I want in the next round? Who was still in there? Oh, Besiktas, right? That's who we want. Although they just smashed their team they were playing against. Uh, went out to finish the job. Nicely done. That was pretty damn good. We did not play particularly well. But we still got the result. And that is what... True champions do. They grind out results even when they play badly. Martinelli's just out for a few days. So it is not a big deal. And we get Leicester. <sighs> okay. Leicester. Let's have a look. So we beat them 5-2. But lost to them in the Carabao Cup. And then... Is there another one? Yes, we beat them in the Premier League 2-1 there. And we've got them in a couple of uh, a couple of days now. So that's going to be an interesting one. We will potentially be finishing off this mini-series 
in the next episode. But I guess if we keep going in the Europa League, then maybe we'll have to do a finale episode where we play the actual final on a slower tempo and I can actually be the manager. But yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sad that the last two results haven't been wins, but ultimately I don't think it's going to matter too much uh, in the league. I think we'll be okay. Uh, and we, we made it through in the Europa League. So next episode, Liverpool, Southampton, Leicester, Manchester United, Leicester. And then we'll see if we get to the final. And then we have Chelsea, Norwich, Watford and Brentford to finish off the Premier League season. So thank you for watching another episode, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.